We get started. So hi everyone, welcome. Um, here we are here to talk about migration and migrating things from Xamarin to .NET MAUI. So let's see. So who am I? I'm need. I'm seeing few. Except for everyone sitting there, it's just new faces for me now. Uh, so hi everyone. I'm Sweekriti. I usually go by Sweeky. Um, I'm part of what's called the customer engagement team in Microsoft. Um, all those people there, it's a sister team. We work with all of them over there. So we're doing a lot of client engagements and apps. And a lot of my work is doing was Xamarin apps and is now doing uh, .NET MAUI apps. I have come here from San Francisco. So that's the Golden Gate Bridge in case everyone, anyone else is as bad as we in geography. Um, I am known to code for candy, so if you will bribe me with any kind of candy, I will probably do something for you. And uh, I like working on .NET Bowie. So, which is sad, that, that last circle used to be the Xamarin logo, and I changed it out to the surfboard yesterday. So the little thing. Okay, so these two slides, I am hoping everybody here is aware this is a .NET MAUI, so a Xamarin to .NET MAUI. So this is kind of like a spoiler warning slide. So we're going to be talking about .NET MAUI. This thing that Maddie and David talked about earlier today. Again, warning number two. So this is all about migrating things from Xamarin to .NET MAUI. So those two words do not make sense to you. Everything I'll be talking about for the next 40 minutes may or may not make sense to you. But you might have a fun time seeing me try to convert a live app into from Xamarin to MAUI. So this will be fun. So important question, what is migration? Migration is when birds fly from north to south, south to north, looking for you know better climate uh, things to do, is what I have been told, is what migration is. Uh, but for today, we're switching it up. So what it actually is, we used to have Xamarin. OK? And then we went transform to .NET MAUI. OK, for those who do not get that reference, I got you. I got you. So here we go again. Everybody has to say this along with me. We had Xamarin. And then we're going to, this is the most, yep, are you all ready for a physical and emotional transformation in the next 35 minutes as we go to .NET MAUI? Are we all in this? OK, great. It's OK. It's the kind of energy you need. So biggest question is, why even upgrade, right? Like, Xamarin's well. David said we have support till 2024 now, right? Yeah. So why even bother upgrading? So this I stole from Maddie. So is Xamarin dead? No, it's the next evolution. Uh, so dot and Maui and Net6 are the next evolution. Next question, do I need to rewrite my apps? Unless you are Luz, who was a self-proclaimed, uh, she just wanted to rewrite her app, you do actually have to rewrite your app. What happens to Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS? They're going to be .NET Android, .NET iOS. All good, nothing's disappearing. Um, so exactly, I said, why well, try to migrate? I mean, there's no super big rush on it, but I'll talk about there's advantages to try getting on it you know, as soon as you possibly can, and you being subjective. Whenever you all feel comfortable, you can start doing it. For me, the last point is the most important thing. I can, if I move my Xamarin app onto .NET MAUI, I can use the .NET CLI, and I'm a huge CI CD nerd, so that means I can simplify all of my complicated build scripts to just use the .NET CLI. And that saves me a lot of headache, to be honest. And it's nice to be on the .NET CLI. It's very powerful. So those are the big reasons I would say, you know, hey, let's migrate. But um, there's a few other like, you know, enhancements that we've added uh, to it. So the layout, so it's, a little, it's a lot more performant. Again, David went through this whole slide in a lot more detail this morning on all the performance, like, you know, all of the good stuff that you get if you, you know, with .NET MAUI. So there's obviously a lot of like, you know, hey, it's awesome, it's great. Definitely, definitely think about migrating. So um, I am, as you can tell, pro-migration today. So also, if you are a visual, which I figured you all of you are visual learners, on the left is a beautiful CS proj from .NET MAUI. On the right is, uh, that's line number 36, but that goes on and on and on till like 86 lines. That used to be our Frankenstein CS proj in good old Xamarin days. So for this alone, I would say it's really, really nice to migrate, you know? It makes life so much nicer. So, all right, so let's talk about migration, right? So what, what does that look like? So. What you do want to do. So when I'm talking about do want to do, so you have a Xamarin app that's ready. You have a Xamarin app, it's been working. 
let's evaluate. How would you go about evaluating? Is it even ready to start migrations, right? So first step, if you are using custom renderers, that's the hardest, maybe not the hardest. It's a significant roadblock is what I'd say. It takes, it'll, it involves a little bit of like write, rewriting of those controls. So if you can move away from those custom renderers, excellent, you just make the migration easier. Make sure you're using Android X, App Compat, you're using fast renderers, um, get a fruity drink, put on a Hawaiian shirt, very important. Um, upgrade to the closest, new, latest Xamarin forms that you can get to. The newer you can get to, the easier your migration is going to be. And uh, last thing is, which I believe is still what would be another significant like blockers would be your NuGet package, your depend dependencies. So if you are using, um, so look at all the NuGet packages you're looking at. I will actually share a resource in just a second. That's probably what you want to check first. So if it's a third party NuGet, which doesn't have Net6 support yet, or doesn't have a MAUI supported NuGet out yet, that's probably what you want to you know, keep a lookout for. So what you don't, want to keep doing is stop using obsolete APIs. Get that out of your app. Migrating, that's going to be very hard. You'll have to write shims. You'll have to write find some hacky way around it. Don't do it. Do not panic. We are all here to help. Everybody sitting on that side of the table is here to help. I am here to help. So um, use data pages. Uh, do not use data pages. Do not use any theme nougat. Try moving away from all that stuff. It's just like Maui has a nice, you know, way of handling all of that. So you can just sort of just onboard straight onto using it. Uh, and yes. Uh, do not just let it go. You, you have to keep giving it some TLC as Maui is progressing. So you want to just keep, you know, sort of checking into it, you know, like, hey, how is it doing? Is it good? Is the migration still holding? So, you know, just keep looking at that app. And yeah, don't forget to breathe. It's very important to breathe. Um, I forgot to put for myself, this is the demo flow. I forgot to put breathe in there, but that was a step I should have added for myself, breathe. Uh, so that's what you have to do. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Let me see, did I miss anything else here? Um, don't think so. Cool, so let's talk about that last point in bold, right? Like, oh, NuGet packages, ah. So what is going on is with the non-UI specific app pa uh, like packages, like for example, SQLite, NewtonSoft, they're already ready for you today because they're not like UI heavy NuGet packages. So if that's a dependency that you have, you can migrate. If that's the only two dependencies that you have, you're good to migrate today. Um, the, those library maintainers have been able to actually catch up pretty quick. Um, libraries that have UI components attached to them, you want to go check in and see if it's a, like, what's the status of the library? Are they up, upgrading it? Are they not? Maybe they have an alternate route for you. Um, so Skia Sharp is on its path already. So, you know, so that's a graph library, but that's been updated. So, um, you can, you can go check in and see what's going on, right? So make an inventory, start you know, seeing what are the dependencies that you have. If you can move away from some, that's even better. So that makes your life easier. So that's what we have with, you know, what's going on in this NuGet package. Stuff. So talking of that, so David sitting right there has been writing this dev2 series like, on this website called dev.to, uh, where he does like these weekly Xamarin updates and he makes it a point to highlight libraries and UI libraries, uh, which are either brand new or which had Xamarin versions, which are now having MAUI versions. So definitely keep a lookout for those. What I did was um, I've made this table. Uh, let me see if I have that up. No, I can just click on it. Let's click on it. Why not? Um, doot, doot, doot. Did I okay, there we go. So I have this gist that I all, honestly, all I did was just read all of David's articles and put it together. So this is every library as of today which has uh, .NET MAUI either ongoing work. So these are like you have either stable NuGets already available, or you have like a beta or something that you can try. Um, if it's a beta, I would encourage everyone to go and give it a shot. It allows the maintainers to like get some you know, sense of good faith. Okay, people are still going to use it. You can help them you know, figure out any issues with the packages. Just makes you know, community coming together will make the migration process easier. So. Um, for others, um, you know, like Newtonsoft, it's a stable new, I mean, no, actually, no, it's still in beta, but like I'm saying, everybody's like in the process of doing it or has already done it. So have a look. I have resources at the end. I will share um, the link out. But yeah, that's what you've got coming. So, and also Javier, you will see me say Javier's name so many times in this presentation, it could be a drinking game at this point. So um, Javier is maintaining his uh, awesome.NET MAUI repo. 
within that, in his readme, if you scroll down, he actually has UI libraries and uh, other you know, UI-based component libraries that you can check. So maybe it's a really old NuGet package. You're not able to find a Maui you know, alternate for it. You can see his list and see maybe there's like, something to swap it out with. Um, so again, resources all around to help you figure out what's going on. So, okay, so you maintain a library. You do not know what to do. Well, Maddie's right here, so reach out to her. Let her know what problems you're facing, how we can support you. Like I said, Javier has two has a GitHub uh, re, like he has his presentation actually, uh, uh, where he like talks about how it is to migrate your library. Um, there is a we have a guest writer on the Xamarin blog who talks about migrating his uh, Xamarin library to Maui. Uh, so you can use all of that. Uh, or there are four Maui packages that I've linked at the bottom. Uh, so these are all of their public GitHub repos. You can go see how they're doing their migration. So it's a real life example. You can see how they're maintaining their CS projects, how they're doing their builds, um, all of that goodness. So again, if you are maintaining a library, you have resources out there to support you. Um, OK, so you have a ton of custom renderers. So this is what I was talking about. Um, we have a guide that walks you through how to convert your custom renderers to handlers. Uh, so it's, and Gerald has a video, walks you through that as well. Um, again, ha Javier has his two repositories where he's, again, documenting, showing how this looks like. You can see lots of samples in there. And I don't know if Sam is in the room, but Sam and Javier uh, had a session where they both talk about you know, again, he's showing you how to do the custom renderer you know, conversion. He's talking about in detail, how does the app compare thing look like, and all of that goodness. Um, so yep, again, do not be afraid. Like I said, breathe. Just be chill. It's going to be fine. All right. The biggest, biggest, baddest problem, though, what if you have an ancient, ancient NuGet package? Uh, like I said, try and replace it with something modern. It's higher probability that's going to get maintained anyways. You reach out to the maintainer if you see no progress on the GitHub page. Like, hey, what's happening? Are you planning to keep this going in the future? Third option, open source it. So it's open sourced. If it is, go ahead, fork it. Try working on it yourself. All the resources that I mentioned before can help you, you know, migrate the library. So hey, you can make it good for everyone. Or I will not judge you if you want to sit in a corner and cry. Uh, I have done that. Uh, it's completely fine, and I understand. Uh, we will get through this together. That is the aim of this talk, right? So, okay, so let's talk about your migration journey, right? So, yes, it is an adventure. That is the attitude we're going to take with it. It is an adventure. So we're going to pick our adventure. So this is one of those pick your adventure games, right? So you have two options. So you can start off with Upgrade Assistant. It will help you get 60% of the way. And there are subjective changes to each app, which a system cannot automate. So you, but you can, you'll get your 60% of the way. Or you can just do the whole thing manually on your own. Don't, don't involve any tools. But don't involve any tools with like 100 asterisks against it. You will end up using maybe VS Code for doing a bunch of find and replace and things like that. So um, both options are correct. There is no wrong answer whatever you feel comfortable with. There's a third option that I didn't put in here, I should have put in. You can do what I was talking about earlier, which Luce has been doing with her app, is just go file new and just like sort of part by part copy your code over. Um, if it is small enough, that's also a viable option. So um, yes, so that's what we have today. So let's look at manual migration. OK, so for manual migration, we have a doc which points you to a wiki, which gives you different steps, which I will be uh, actually going through later on in my demo. Looking, Let's see how the time is. OK, we're going, to, going good on time. So we'll look at that. What a manual migration looks like is I'll show you, uh, so I migrated uh, Maddie's plant lady. So I'll show you what the changes look like in just a second. But the nicest part is, look at this amazing number. I got to delete over 2,000 lines of code in a Xamarin app. Uh, so that is how awesome and how satisfying the process is. So let's take a look, right? So I think I do have Plant Lady open. Dip, dip, dip. Do I not have Plant Lady open? Don't have Plant Lady. Let's go open Plant Lady. No, why don't we? OK, so. Uh, OK, Maui, I uh, Maddie, I have a pull request open. Um, <laughs> this is the easiest way for me to show this. OK, so let's see what this is. Okay. I'm going to sit down for a bit, because I need to look at my screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, OK, so the, let's look at the big changes step by step in this. 
I don't want to spend too much of time here because this is all there for you all to see. I'm going to leave this PR open just so it's more like an informative guide so you can see what the changes would look like. First change, let's look at this. The CS Proj does, a, there's been a lot of just like put in target framework, use MAUI, apologies for the bad indentation, but you know, just setting up the output type, we're removing all the stuff we don't need, adding in your supported platforms. Uh, I put in like, hey, the fonts are in the resources group. Why did I do that? Because you don't need the assembly. So if you notice the assembly is just, I deleted everything in it. You don't really need any of that anymore because you register all your fonts in your MAUI program. So it's very simple, very basic steps. It's not complicated at all. Um, this is the manual migration guide that I wrote because I was migrating Plant Lady and I learned all these things and I figured, hey, everybody can just follow these same steps. Uh, we will see, I will do this in just a second. You'll see me go through this guide and do a migration. So we'll see more of it. But yes, the rest of, like I said, feel free to go out. I, again, I'll share the links out to all of this. Um, you can go in and check out what the migration looked like, um, what changes I had to make. Um, it was a lot of code deletion, so just very satisfying for me personally. Uh, and yeah, it wasn't too complicated, and um, I was able to get it done in a day, actually. So that was pretty fun. Uh, cool. Let's get back in here, shall we? All right, so that was manual migration. So let's talk a little bit about the .NET Upgrade Assistant. So the .NET Upgrade Assistant is a tool that was built to help uh, our customers go from, uh, okay, David will have to correct me, core to framework, no, framework to core, uh, then ASP dot, yeah, for ASP.NET, and then it just kept evolving, kept evolving. So now we are adding on as part of, you know, our evolution, we are adding what's called an extension to help you go from your Xamarin forms, Xamarin forms to .NET MAUI. Uh, also, it's all currently under development. I will be using Upgrade Assistant in my demo, but to note, uh, this is of uh, new feature work that I have been doing, but it is not available at the moment. It will be available soon. We'll have a release come out uh, shortly, which you, sh you should be able to use everything that I'm gonna demo today with it. So, uh, so uh, the three big steps that it does right now is it'll help your CS project to become SDK style, so add the target frameworks and uh, clean it up. Uh, source code updates, so C-sharp, XAML namespaces, and uh, it'll do a quick NuGet analysis and remove all the stuff that isn't you know, MAUI supported. And if there is a known alternate package for it or a known MAUI equivalent, it'll swap it out. And we'll see that just shortly. Um, all right, so, oh yeah, like I said, so it'll go from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI, not single project. So you know we support single project style. Apps now not going to do that at the moment. It's going to keep project heads which you will see is not the biggest issue in the world. It feels more familiar if you are you know, used to the Xamarin way of things. Uh, it can go Xamarin native to .NET native. This is again experimental. We haven't figured this out completely yet, but it, again, we want to build this out. Um, libraries and native binding libraries is something we are thinking about and trying to understand how we will support. Uh, and at the moment does not work on Mac, but support is coming soon. Uh, so stay tuned, um, check out the Upgrade Assistant repo, you'll see PRs open up there as, as, we, as and when we start lighting up these features. Sweet, what do I have here? Okay, so uh, this is kind of what like the Upgrade Assistant CLI tool looks like. These are the different steps that it does, you know, it does for you. So everything that's bolded, uh, it does today. Uh, it will do all of these steps for you, add all the type, template files, migrate any app configs if it has to, update source code, the stuff that it does not do is migrate custom renderers um, and a few other subjective steps which we'll see right now. So that's something like that's subjective from app to app. Doesn't do that today, but that's not a big deal. It's not that hard to fix. All right, so, uh, so UWP, there is a uh, beta version sort of conversion for it from the UWP team in there right now. Feel free to go test it out, but they're adding more support to it as well like we are. Um, like I said, this will not get you 100% of the way. It'll still, you, it's probably get you like 60, 70% of the way, depending on how complex your app is. Uh, you will not get a single project, so you will get project heads. Um, but it is pretty close. If you want to then go from the project heads to a single project, it's just a matter of taking those files and putting it into the platforms folder. So not too complicated, but it gets you there. Uh, and yeah, so once you run Upgrade Assistant, the 
version of the project that you get, you can't just go open that up in Visual Studio and start running. Like I said, it's only 60 to 70 percent of the way. There's still a few more steps we have to do. So you have to adjust some build errors. There's some like some API changes. You'll have to like obviously, like I said, see those NuGet packages that you have. Did they like update and things like that? So uh, we will see all that in just a second. But yeah, uh, these are known limitations, and we will be like I said. I will show you how it works. It's not, it's, it does quite a lot of the work for you. It does a lot of the big heavy lifting, which is super nice. All right, so let's get into the meat of it. So I'm gonna sit down because it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of steps. Only because I didn't want to forget anything and, uh, oh, whoops. I didn't want to forget anything and you know, I want to show you guys a pure-ish experience. So Luce was too slow to get to me, so instead, we're going to migrate Mo James Monte Magno's My Coffee app. So he built this like way back when uh, in his Xamarin 101 series on YouTube. You can still see those videos. So what I did do ahead was I forked it to myself. I'm going to go grab this. So I have a fork. Let's get, oh, OK. Let me see if I can zoom this guy in a bit more. Ooh, boop. OK, bear with me. All I'm doing is just I'm going to clone the repo. Um, Okay, so let's, we've got the repo cloned in. Yay, thank you. Okay, like I said, I'm going to run Upgrade Assistant from my machine. Uh, so please wait for the PR to open with everything that I demoed today so you guys can use. Um, while we wait for Upgrade Assistant to, it should be pretty quick. Oh, it is pretty quick. Okay, there you go. All right, so we have Upgrade Assistant coming up. Whoops, what did I not? <laughs> okay, clearly this is not made for light mode. This is me trying to be nice to you all. So let me quickly fix this. Um, bah, bah, bah. No, let's do this, let's do this. Okay, there you go, all right. I don't know if he's gonna get unhappy that I tried to like change the properties in the middle. Um, also, I'm running this in debug literally off my machine, which is doing a thousand other things at the same time. So. Uh, if it's a little slow, don't get angry with it. Okay, I'm gonna restart it because now everything just looks really bad. So, yes, let us quit. Okay, let's build this again. I have fixed the colors. Okay, much better. Um, so I'm going to run Upgrade Assistant in what's called the not interactive mode, which means I'm going to like click enter and interact with all the questions it's going to ask me. Uh, for the most part, I'm just going to be hitting the enter key. There is a non interactive mode. It's just a, a flag that you pass into the CLI. So if you want, you can actually just run it in non interactive mode and it'll just like you don't have to like interact with the tool. It just run through it for you and then you'll get your migrated app at the end. Um, all right. So what do we have here? Uh, let me see if I can pull this up and zoom in a bit more. So it's asking us to pick the entry point because it's, it notices there's a solution file in the folder for the coffee app. Did I show you guys a coffee app? Of course, I didn't show you guys a coffee app. So this is what the coffee app folder looks like. So we've got a solution. There's, this is the app. There's a shared project. There's a web API. This is the Xamarin app. All right, so you've got Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS. This is the you know, uh, main uh, Xamarin uh, project. Okay, this is the Xamarin Farms project. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. What I want to look at is, okay, let's look at his package references. So let's zoom into this guy a bit more. So James is using Monkey Cash, uh, refactored MVVM helpers, SQL Lite PCL, Community Toolkit, Farms Essentials. Okay, so these two will go bye-bye. Right, uh, both are now .NET MAUI. For Community Toolkit, we know there's a MAUI Community Toolkit, so we're good on that. I know SQL Lite works because it was in my list. I'm not sure about this refactored MVVM helpers, but we have a lot of the MVVM stuff just baked in with Community Toolkit and stuff, so I don't think we need it. What I want to check is what's going on with Monkey Cash, which I think actually James owns, so let's see. Uh, Ooh, there's a beta, promising, promising. Uh, tip, tip, tip. No, oh, don't see it. Let's see what his GitHub repo says. Okay, there is a beta that targets Net6. Okay, 
promising, promising, that's good. So what did we do? We did step one of migration. I evaluated my nougat packages. If you were having a drink, you would have a drink. I'm going to drink some water because you must reward yourself in this process. All right. Now that I know I can do this, let's go back to Upgrade Assistant because I totally forgot to check this. All right, let's go back to Upgrade Assistant. OK, so I need to pick my um, entry point, which means which project I'm going to migrate first. Um, there, sorry, there is a, uh, so the Upgrade Assistant, you can actually, again, pass another flag that it will upgrade, it will look at all the projects in your solution and just try attempt to update all of them together. So you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to do a very limited sub, like a very limited um, sub case, not even limited sub case. Essentially, we're only going to migrate the Android target. Today, um, I will let you know how the iOS also works. You'll, you'll see, it's not very different from the way I'm going to do it. It's just that I'm on a Windows machine and I'm only going to do Android because I want to show it to you running today. See how an actual migrated app looks like. Um, okay, so I'm going to pick, I want to do the second option, that's my Android app. So I'm going to click through this. And uh, it's going to be a lot of sitting here and me just clicking the enter button. Uh, I will pause to like, OK, so as you can notice, it's so it is looking at three different projects here to determine what to update. Why this is happening is because while this was the entry point, this has a dependency on the Xamarin project, and the Xamarin project has a dependency on the shared project. So it evaluates the whole tree. And it goes from bottom up. So it checked that, OK, this is good. This doesn't need any migrating. This is great. It's going to next is going to try and migrate the, uh, the Xamarin project. And that you will know. Then it's like, OK, yes, I have work to do. This project needs migrating. So the first step it does, which is my favorite thing, it'll back up your project for free. Um, if you are doing this, my first recommendation would be if you're not in any version controlling, get on to Git. Make a copy of your original app before you, you know, start all this. Uh, although, if you forget to do that, the tool will generate a backup copy of the project, and you will see that in just a second. So, okay, I'm going to resume with my enter. Uh, so, it's going to do the backup. Uh, I picked the default path. Sorry, it's zoomed in, so I'm completely thrown by how the uh, steps are loading up. So, uh, this part is fairly like this is why it's fun to do it in the non interactive mode. It just sort of just like goes through. Okay, uh, this is a fun step. So, it is, uh, it does the uh, NuGet analysis, and this is going to clean up your NuGet references. So like I said, it noticed you don't need the Xamarin Community Toolkit. You don't need Xamarin Forms. You don't need Essentials. All the other packages has an equivalent or can work with Net6. It also noticed, hey, since you used Community Toolkit, let me give you the MAUI Community Toolkit, which is the one is to one alternate for it. So this is the kind of like cool stuff we want to help you with, because we know this is a pain point in the process. Uh, all right, so I'm going to keep going through. It's going to do its thing. Remove the packages. Remove the packages. OK, well, how are we doing on time? Do I have 20 more minutes? No. 15? OK, that's cool. 15 is great. We will do as much as we can in 15 minutes. I will not leave you guys hanging. Watch me like do this like super duper fast now. Um, come on. OK. Oh, yeah, whoops. I went to show you that. Ooh, the diagnostics. Okay, well, that's good. This is good, good stuff to show you guys. Okay, so the next step that it does is it actually adds in template files. Uh, so for MAUI projects, you need a MAUI program.cs file, which is now where the app builder lives. Uh, Xamarin Forms apps don't have that. It adds that in. Uh, for Android projects, it adds the main application file, which again is different, doesn't exist, adds it in for you. Uh, these are all the code fixers. So as you can see, it's going in and doing all the code fix updates. So you guys are like, hey, you're using old namespaces. Mm -mm -mm, not using old spaces in this house. All right. So same thing, going to remove all of the Xamarin Essentials namespaces. Um, and OK, and then it's done. So it's done with the MAUI project. It's going to move on. And now it's going to move on to the next project, which is the Android project. So poop, poop, poop. So completed, completed. I know this says Net6 Android. It actually has both the target frameworks in it. But um, that's something I'm going to fix. And it's, so it's done with these two. It's going to move on to the next one now. So I'm going to be, try and make this go as quick as I can now. Um, the process stays the same. It's going to go through those exact same steps for the Android project. So it's going to do a backup. Add the target frameworks, do the conversions. Uh, pretty nifty, if I may say so. 
Uh, if anyone used this tool like a few months ago, I don't know if you remember, there was this horrible extra NuGet package, warning, 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 warning. Uh, happy to report it has been fixed, as you can see. Um, yeah, so this is going to go through the same process, remove all those NuGet packages. Honest to God, this is, I think, the slowest part of this whole thing, because I did not put it in non-interactive mode, so I've just sit here pressing enter. Um, and you'll have to watch me do this. Uh, while I'm clicking through this, any questions so far that I can answer? Okay, everybody with me? That's good. Everyone, all Amazon ordered Hawaiian t-shirts for yourselves? Okay, that's good. And that only counts, that Macy's. Yeah, loose found on Macy's, yeah, that's right. I got this from Maui, so I'm very proud of wearing this shirt today. Because I realized I haven't worn this shirt since I bought it, and I thought this is the best occasion to do it. Why not? Oh my god, okay. Gotta love automated tools. Make your life amazing. Okay, updating TFMs, that's great. Let's do it. I feel like I missed a step. No, I did not miss a step. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Come on. All right, so it's adjusting all those. So, with, so it also gives you like um, outputs in the sense of when it, it's doing all the CS proj uh, updates for you and things like that, it lets you know, like this is an old property we found. So it either give, tells you that it's being removed or it's being replaced. So if you, if you are interested to look through the logs, it actually tells you what step and it's applying and why it's doing the changes. Um, oh, oh yeah, the analyzers are, of course, now my machine is, I can hear my fans, so. Come on, debug mode, come on, Visual Studio. I'll give this a second. Uh, this is why you don't d demo off a build of VS, I feel like sometimes. Um, dip, dip, dip. All right, sweet. Um, okay, it's gonna do another analyzer. It should be the last one. So I would recommend running this in non-interactive mode just for this very, because there's not much to like interact with the tool. It gives you a log output right at the end. So you can go through and look at all these outputs if you're interested. Uh, unless you're expecting to like, inter like you want uh, to st step in between any of these steps, you know, to interrupt it for any reason, uh, you should be able to just run through. So just doing a non-interactive mode saves you a bunch of time that I'm going through right now. Uh, also, not running it from VS and debug also helps speed things. It's not actually this slow. It's because it's debugging in the back because I just literally ran it off VS right now is why it's a little slow at the moment. Um, the release build is super quick, it's super nice. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so you mentioned that you could stop it at some point, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just continue from that point on, on, or you have to restart it? It actually will continue from wherever you stop. So it saves what's called an up upgrade status file every time you run the tool. And um, if you rerun the tool on, on something that has already done it, it will just see what was the last step that it did and just resume from there. So Upgrade Assistant has all that for free. And that's, the, that's why we love this tool and we want to put this experience into this tool specifically. So unlike running like a script or you know doing like a find and replace in uh, VS Code, this actually remembers the state that you stopped the tool in and can resume it from there. So it's super nice, it's very interact like, very smart that way. Um, so, okay, so it's done, it's done. Uh, our pro uh, upgrade has completed. Uh, review any changes, yes, we must review, like I said, it's not done, done, just the tool is done its part. So let's breeze through what we have. So let me, this was upgrade assistant, goodbye, I'm gonna close this, give us, get back some CPU here. So let's see what the folder looks like. So this is what the folder looks like. Um, okay, this is the max I'm gonna zoom in for now. So that's, this dot backup folder is, like I said, the backup. So if I look in here, it's the two projects that we just did, the Xamarin app and the Android app. So what we're actually interested in is in this folder, which has our migrated app after our grid system did it. So let me actually, 
open it up here in VS Code because then you can see all the boop, 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 boop stuff. So there are 46 files per, as per source control that when, you know, upgrade system has already like gone and done a bunch of the work for you. Uh, so let me see. So step one, we did that. So step two, we open in VS Code and let's also open it in Visual Studio. Let's see what's going to, so like I said, it's not going to just build straight up, right? So open, um, tup, tup, not this, where's the one we just did, dev reach, okay, uh, should I, where's the solution, there we go, okay, so I'm going to open this up in VS as well, okay, so let's see, um, this is VS code, I'm going to go look at our handy dandy migration guide, which tells me getting started, so there's some tips and tricks over here, which are great, there's sample projects, so the plant lady is already in here. There's another one you can go see. Okay, so um, the CS proj updates, upgrade assistant should have done all this for me, so I don't really need to care about this. Let's go see if it's actually done it or not. So I'm gonna go in here. Let's go look at the CS proj. Okay, yep, I see the frameworks. I see use Maui, excellent. So it's done its job, right? It's done its job. Uh, the stuff that needs to be here. We have the community toolkit swapped in. Ooh, it's uh, pulled in the older version. We'll go in and update it. That's also an important step. Okay, this looks good to me. I see all the stuff that needs to be there. Um, so let's go back. Whoops, why does it keep changing my tab? All right. Uh, uh, iOS, sorry, we're not doing iOS, we're doing Android, so that should be good. Okay, so source code updates. Source code updates, there's a new MAUI program. We have to register, if you had services, you can use the new uh, service registration stuff built into MAUI. We can, we'll do a little bit of that. Let's see, um, is VS open? Okay, VS is open. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna unload the iOS app for now, because like I said, I'm on a Windows machine. I want to show you a full end-to-end -end thing as quickly as I can in the last few minutes. But first, uh, so let's see, what do we have here? I'm gonna do first things first. Let's update NuGet packages. So we go in here. Update packages, tip tip, we have updates. So I'm not sure if monkey cache needs updating to that beta yet. So I'm just gonna do toolkit. And I accept. Okay, so that's taken care of. All right, what do my next tip say? Uh, okay, so let's go look at, so there's my migration guide. So migration guide says, look at Maui program, look at main application in Android, look at app builder, cool. Uh, we've already replaced all the namespaces stuff, so I don't need to care about. The next big thing I wanna care about is these known API changes. So there's some stuff, colors, uh, colors is in a new namespace, uh, color is colors, a uh, few of these known things, OS theme is app theme. So um, let's go see how many of those are actually in here. Okay, so first things first. Let's, I know app shell, so app needs to go to, so it can't be Xamarin Forms shell anymore. You see that it just has to be just shell. So that's what it's supposed to be. So what I'm actually gonna do is, the reason I have this open side by side in VS Code and is things like this, I will come in here and just grab. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. all this stuff doesn't need to be with Xamarin Forms. So there's, what's this? Uh, oh, that's just a thing. Okay, so this guy needs to go, so I'll get rid of you. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, in the app themes, ooh, okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm also seeing like OS app theme, this needs to be app theme. All right, I know that. So let's quickly go in and grab a few more of those changes. So I saw that in here. So what do you have? OS app theme is just app theme now. And it's super sweet. So, okay, while I'm doing this, any, and this doesn't need to be Xamarin Forms, it just needs to be navigation page. Any questions so far? Anything bothering you all, making you feel sick? Color is colors. Give it a second, it'll catch up. <laughs> that makes you feel, I'm sorry, Luz. I will get that uh, feedback. Uh, David, can you fix English, please? Uh, Okay, thank you. All right, so what's this? Set color bar is unhappy. Let's go look at this. Ooh, so this has, this doesn't like it. Why do you not like it? It's an ambiguous uh, statement situation. Oh my God, give me IntelliSense. 
whoa, look how tiny my little intelli- Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can see it. I bumped up all my font sizes, um, but okay, so I'm going to do, what do I want? Do I want system drawing? Do I want Android graphics? I think I want Android graphics right over here, but then let's check if this guy likes it over here. Are you happy with this? Are you guys happy with this? Oh, they're not happy with this. Why are you not happy with this? Should I keep spending, should I, I should keep fixing this, right? I mean, I have it fixed already, so don't worry. Oh, it's because I need, uh, it shouldn't be doing any of these. It should be doing uh, Maui graphics. Why are you not? Ah, there we go. That's the fix you need. I literally said that to you guys, and then I just like, forgot myself. Okay. Uh, why did I jump over? Okay, so that's a few more things fixed. Let's save you. Let's save you. Okay, we're going good so far. There's uh, lots of uh, reds off. So I'm not even building the app right now because I know there's a few stuff I definitely need to change. Let's go look at our Maui. Okay, this looks good. The namespace is right. That's good. Um, let's see the view. So this was using um, uh, Xamarin Community Toolkit, right? So another known uh, problem with the Zam not the Xamarin Community Toolkit is I bet they're using the namespace for Community Toolkit. Yep. Okay, so this. I should add, uh, I'll add this into Upgrade Assistant actually, should be able to cache it. Doesn't do this right now, but, so what with this, it's a simple find and replace. Let's go look at, I know I have it open here somewhere. Do I have it here? Nope, okay, so, uh, no. Mm, yeah, getting started with the toolkit. Also, do you like my new uh, Bing theme? It's called Island. Uh, I'm so on theme today. Okay, so this is the new one that you need. Um, so let's grab this guy. So what I like to do is, I don't want to change this thing to like toolkit because the rest of my code will break. So I'm just going to replace it with the same like thing. So saves me a few build errors. So let's replace this guy. Let's switch over. So probably broke something somewhere else. What did I do? Sorry? Did I not copy? Oh, I didn't copy the X. No! Oh, man. I wrote the steps down. I feel so unhappy now. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Now this guy should be happy-ish. Let's go. Uh, let me say anything else here. No, you guys look good. Okay. It'll catch up. I probably just have to... Oh, okay. It's happy now. Um... Yeah, the build errors will slowly catch up. It's, uh, yes, the other thing is it needs me. I know what it needs. It's telling me in this nice little error over here that I need to initialize uh, the toolkit. So I'm going to go back to the docs so I always forget that line. But I think it's uh, use toolkit, using toolkit. I know there's an error. It'll use Maui toolkit. No. Is it? Uh, oh, use Maui Community Toolkit. There we go. Yeah, I was like, I know there's an error over here. It tells me. All right, so let's get this guy in here so it's not not unhappy anymore. It needs the using, of course. Okay, so that's done. All right, let's see. Um, what do I have here? Uh, we fixed app shells inheritance. We did that. Uh, okay, so let's look at the Android template file that got added in, main application. Uh, Maui application, that's good. Let's go to main activity. Uh, so main activity. So we don't need these assembly uh, things anymore. We'll come back to this. Uh, OK, this has forms, compat, la, 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 but we don't need this. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at plant lady and see what I had to actually use there. So boop, main application, Maui application. No, is it Ma yeah, Maui application. So let's go back. Oh, nope, I copied the ring five. It was main activity I wanted to check, not main. Okay, let's go back here. Main activity, well, Ma Maui app combat activity. Um, I have none of this memorized, and I don't usually have to memorize any of this. There's enough resources that I just showed you, and as you are seeing me do this, all you have to do is just look at the docs, look at a sample, and look at a blank template file, and for the most part, you're good to go. So. Okay, so, oh, uh, yeah. So let's get, we don't need all of this boilerplate stuff anymore. It does all of this beautiful stuff under the hood. Ooh, it missed, uh, okay, we'll come back and fix the 
permissions thing in a bit. What do we have here? Um, so Android build version codes. Build version codes, I think, just lives. Yeah, I don't need that here. Same thing, you don't need these extra namespacey stuffs in front of the stuff anymore. Okay, uh, so this, I'm just going to think it's too, what is color, color, what's this gonna be? Hmm, okay, we need to come back. I'm gonna come back to this. I don't remember what the change is for this, but I do know it is something to color, color to color, no. Was it to Android maybe? No, I'll come back to this. I'm, I'm literally blanking on this, but for the rest of it, I think we've got most of it. We'll see what's going on with this eye environment. I think it's just unhappy because I have this return wrong. Um, what else are we, okay, let me just check. How are we doing on time? I think we have two minutes. Two minutes? Okay, I came prepared, you guys, I came prepared. So, good news is, I do have this completely migrated. Unfortunately, I got the timing of my typing speed wrong, but we got halfway through the steps. We actually got through this far. So another 10 more minutes, I would have actually finished the rest of the migration stuff. So let me just show you quickly what are the rest of the steps, what, what they were, which we, you didn't see me do. Um, they were pretty, pretty um, straightforward. So we did using, we added the using Maui toolkit because it gave us a handy little error message on its own over there. Uh, some of the cool stuff that I wanted to show you that needed to change was, we did the colors, we did, ooh, this is a fun one. Let's quickly go see this. So this is, James made a special collection view page and um, he has something that I had, oh, no, I just realized I should go back here. So in this, you know, there's a Android namespace thing that he did for the collection view because he is, I think, attaching a drag swipe gesture thing, um, you don't need that anymore. I checked the collection view docs and it works fine. Like you don't need to like do that separately anymore. Um, the other thing that I changed was uh, in the community toolkit. Uh, so there is, so let's go to a page that had the community toolkit. So I think it was one of these. No, okay, let me go back there. What was it? Um, Uh, coffee equipment, okay. Do you have, uh, yeah, so this is the community toolkit. So the reason he was using the community toolkit was he's using this uh, selected item args converter. If you quickly go into the community toolkits, um, where was it? Extension, <coughs> oh, sorry, converters. That exists, only it's been changed to so it used to be item selected argument. I think I'm now in two different projects and I have completely confused myself. Uh, let's go into coffee equipment page. So toolkit, yes. So this is what the old API was. This is the new API. And how I found it was I looked at the community toolkits um, documentation. So the, it's the same event. It's the same. It's hooked up exactly the same way. You have to set up the event args. Like it's the same event to command behavior. All I had to do was come in and just like swap this, the key out, and make sure I updated the event to command behavior in it as well. Um, like I said, all the documentation is in there. You search for that error, it'll link you straight to the documentation page. So that was a good one to call out. Um, Another one uh, which I did was, let's see, what did I fix here? Oh, this is a nifty one. I have this linked in the thing as well. So let me actually build this while I show you guys. So this is the completed version of it. My emulator is here, emulator is here. While it builds and does its thing. Uh, so for SQL Lite, right, it wasn't uh, building for me, there's an issue. I searched and I found that all I had to do was actually need to add these extra NuGet packages into it. Once I added that in, I found an issue, someone fixed it, I just followed their steps and it started working. Um, now was another thing I was like, hmm, what's going on over here, what's going on? Another thing I did was, so since he was using MVVM helpers, which I did not find uh, a Net6 version for, he was just using it for dependency injection, I swapped it out. Maui has its own, like you can just register app services using the Maui builder now, so I just like switched it over to using that. and. 
everything worked just fine. So if you want to see what that looked like, all I did was I registered his fonts, took away all the assembly files, and I registered his app, his coffee service, using the Maui app builder services. Um, really straightforward. The app's going to pull up in just a second. Let's take a look. All right, so all his fonts are coming in. You can scroll down. Let's click into a coffee. OK, cool, cool. I can add a new coffee, medium. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, this is the collection view that I just showed you. When I drag, it's doing what he needs it to do, so he doesn't need to have that namespace thing anymore. Collection view just works, super nice. What do we have? Add a coffee. Uh, let's see if this is going to uh, dev reach. Oh, I maybe it doesn't like explanation points. Let's see if it likes it. OK, SQL Lite is working, because this is how he maintains this page. This is good. So far, so good. Uh, he has this thing here called animate. Let's click into it. That worked. I didn't even touch this page as part of my migration. Um, it's pretty great. I am not going to leave you guys hanging. I actually have this all migrated, and I put it up in uh, my repo, so you can check it out. What I will leave you with is check out these steps. That link takes you to a repo where we have all these links, all these steps, everything linked up to. Reach out to us, any questions and all that. So that's the QR code to get all the links of everything that I just shared today, including that last demo, which is completed on my GitHub repo. And uh, yep, so Maddie's right there. I'm right here. We'll be here around if you have any more questions. Uh, thank you. Any, any other questions apart from everything I tried to show you right now? OK, cool, awesome. Have a great rest of the conference, everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs>